Hi, and welcome to the tutorial on numeric profiles. So in order to make a profile with using numeric data, the well, first thing we want to do is go up to add a new layer and click the first one and go down to surface properties. And then you can see here that it gives you a couple different data sets to choose from. We're going to pick topography. And then you can pick any type of elevation data you want that's here. I'm going to pick the colorized elevation. Close this. And if you double click to come in here, and you go to chart, I'm going to dock this area since we'll be using it a lot. Then bring your mouse to the main screen. You'll see as you move your mouse around that you can actually see the different elevation values changing. If you click the screen one time, you'll see that a yellow line appears. This is your profile line. So here you can do one of two things. If you want the profile line to end, you double click. If you want it to keep going and you want to change directions, you click one time. So for example, I'm going to click one time and you'll see that the profile keeps going. And then to end it, I double click. And you'll see in our chart area that it's already drawn our profile line. The blue line indicates where you are relative to the screen. So if you move your mouse around, you'll see that that blue line is changing. And then if you look at your main screen, you'll see a yellow line moves as you move that blue line. This helps you figure out where in the profile is equal to where you are on the screen. Down here you'll see it'll tell you the name of your map you're using, the color that's indicated on the chart, which you can change by double clicking, and then it'll tell you your Y values. So as you move this line around, it, those Y values will change. In order to add another map to this profile, we're going to go to Input. You're going to go down to Configure. Here's the advanced map settings. So now you're going to click on the Mars Spaceflight Map Server and go to Type. And we want Topography again, so we're going to click Topography. And there's a couple things I want to show you before we move on. You'll see that different maps have different indication symbols next to it. This 01 means that it's a numeric map. The black and white indicate it's a grayscaled map. And the red, green, and blue lines indicate it's a colorized map. So you'll see as I click on different maps that this thumbnail changes. The thumbnail actually gives you a glance of what that map is. So we're going to add a map. We're going to drag it to the plots area, press OK. Go to our chart area, and you'll see that both profiles are drawn there. So if we go back to input, there's a couple things I want to show you. So we're going to go to the MOLA Shaded Relief and double click. You're going to click the plus sign. And here it'll give you a couple different options that you can do for your map. A color stretcher, a grayscale, and contour maps. First we're going to start with the color stretcher. Press OK. So this is your traditional black and white color scheme. But if you click these tabs, you can actually change it. If you click and drag in which direction you want, you can change the way it's being drawn. Or if you don't want to do black and white, you can right click this tab, and go to set color tab and change it. And it'll use that blue instead of white. Another thing you can do is right click that tab and go to built in colors. This is nice to do if you don't want to pick your own colors. So you can pick any one of these pre-made scales. And then you can even come back and move these scales around. Depending on what area you're at, different color schemes will work better. We're going to click the minus sign to get out of this. And we're going to go back up to the plus sign and click grayscale. Press OK. 
This is your grayscaled area. You can change your min and max here. In order to change your different resolutions, you can change the max PPD. If you press the plus sign again, now we're going to go to contour lines. Press OK. This feature is nice to use because it's really easy and fast. You can change your base elevation by changing this base number or you change your step increments. And then you can even change the color. So we're going to pick a color. And it'll draw that gray and it'll draw the, draw the contour lines for you. Well, that's it for the numeric profile. Thanks for joining me.